Hey guys, so um, I'm just filling up this water with really hot water for my belly button because I'm going to be cleaning my peers and you want to move this camera a little bit for you so you can see. I'm going to be cleaning my belly button piercing today and it is real 100% and I'm going to clean my pants a little bit. I'm just gonna be changing it to this baby blue one. I'm gonna use this sea salt that does not supply iodine, so we're good. And this water is just like really hot water, so I'm gonna be very careful and not spill it on me. And I'm just going to tilt this up and get some of salt in here. But you don't want to use too much of the salt because it can um, get your belly button infected. So I'm going to use about that much. That's kind of a lot. Now I'm just going to take the spoon and stir this hot water together. Or this hot water up. Stir it up. I don't, I don't know. Then I'm going to take my belly button knife. And I'm just going to take off the ball. Chuck the ball in the hot water. And I'm going to take the ring part with the um, handle and all. I'm going to run it under hot water. Then take this foam soap, 100% foam, and pump it into my hand. I use just one pump because it uses, it takes it makes a lot. Once, so then I just clean the shrine really, really good because I don't want my belly button to be infected, you know. So I'm just using lukewarm water, warm water, tap water. I mean, not everyone fancy and gets to use sea salt spray. And Now that I have the shrink cleaned off real good, I'm just going to drop it into that sea salt. And normally I'd be like really careful, but I have like four of the same belly buttons, so yeah. So what I'm going to be doing here is, I, I know I just washed it, but I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm using this little spray part, so that I know it's clean for sure. And I'm going to take this right here, and use two pumps for my hands. Wow. Really good, really good. So that there's no germies on there. You get it, germies. Yeah. Making a video. We're gonna be on video if you come over here. Making a video. Of how I changed my belly button. No, please. I will get it in a minute. So now that I'm done cleaning my hands, I'm just going to take this big towel and dry it off. I'm not going to make it completely dry because, yeah. So then I'm going to take this bowl here and just put it right there. But first I'm going to get the water and clean it up and fill it up with water. And then I'm just going to go down the paste a little bit and not too far. And I'm just going to untwist this little bit from there. Which it's really tight so this might get me stuck in there. So it's kind of rough going in and out. Yeah. It might be a little bit rough to get back in. But then I'm just going to take this cool hot water and just pour it all around my belly. 
and I'm going to take that antibacterial soap that I showed you all. And use half a cup. And clean my belly button. Drying my belly button off. I'm just going to go ahead and turn off this water over here. And then I'm going to take some uh, what I call Neosporin. Uh, what everyone calls Neosporin. <laughs> and I'm just going to fold it a little bit. So I'll be able to get it. Then I'm going to take the spoon and get my ring out. I'm going to take this shine and Go under the water with it. Get the salt off. So here's the ring. I'm just gonna go ahead and dry it off real quick. And then I'm going to take the knee spore and mesh, which I just said to go. And my gym is a bit loose on the inside, so I'm just gonna take. I don't use a whole lot because it just makes a mess, I think. Okay, so then what I do is I turn the belly button ring like this and then I will go up from underneath and look for the hole which is right there and I just gently push it through to see it on top and then I'm going to take a paper towel and clean it off my fingers real quick. I'm going to grab the needle part or the ball part and do what I just did. Clean it. I'm going to take a roll top gym so I can get it out <laughs> and put it under the tap real quick to get any of that extra salt that could be on there. Now I just push the ball up, or the bar up, not the ball. <laughs> Silly me. Take the gym and tighten it real tight like that. I'm just going to 
And I hope that, whoa, I just lost something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some more of this newborn. Wow, that's a lot. I'm going to go around the top. Oh, I'm going to go around this bottom ball. And it looks like that. So, it has that much. So, there's my belly button. So, if you like this video and if it helped you any at all, like any at all, please like and subscribe. Um, down below, I'll have a link to where I got my belly button, not to where, for where I get my stuff at to clean it. And if you want to see a video of my belly button ring collection, like and subscribe, comment down below if this helped you any, or if you have any advice for me when I change it, because sometimes it does get stuck when I'm pushing it through. So if you have any advice for how to help that, please comment down below and... I'll get a hold of you, add me on Snapchat, Boo Bear, not Boo Bear, Ha123420, Instagram me, Snapchat, Ha123420, that's my Snapchat, and my Instagram, so, like and subscribe and comment down below and follow me on stuff, thank you.